Hi, it's Mike. Welcome to the Bonsai Channel. Well, today I want to prune the roots on this little maple, so I got to take it out of the ground. So here I go. Okay, now I got it out. Let's take it inside and cut the roots down and pot it up. Okay, I'm ready to prune the roots on this maple. It's uh, winter and the maple's still dormant. That's why I can do it. Uh, so I have set up everything I need. I have screen for the holes in the pot. I have uh, the clips that I've already made, the wire, an assortment of tools. I have the humidity tray that I took out that was in the ground upside down underneath the pot. And uh, of course the training pot is plastic. And, um, and I've already cut two little pieces of screen. So I'm ready to get going. Now just to let you know I've already talked about how to make these clips in previous episodes so uh, refer to those if you need uh, some more information. All right, let's see what we've got. There's a, a little technique, kind of like a plop technique, that's what I call it, where you can knock a lot of the soil out by just plopping it on the ground. That way you can see the roots a little better. If you feel like you're going to destroy them at all with your rake. Okay. There's the roots. You can see the graft right here. What they've done is they've taken a hardy maple and grafted it to this, we'll call it a fancy Japanese maple. The thing is, is the Acer palmatums either come in green or red and they will grow from seed. But on these fancy maples that have a special leaf type or anything like that, they always graft them because these will die out after about 10 years. And this is the same thing they do with fruit trees. All fruit trees are grafted. So the other thing was is I went ahead, you know, with my plop technique and with the rake here, and I have uh, separated the roots out. And you could see that the roots would actually fit in the, um, in the pot just fine. So, there's no real need to prune them at this point because they're so small. Really looking at it, probably in about three years I'll have to prune these roots. And remember, the only reason I'm pruning the roots is to spur on new growth and to reinvigorate the roots of the plant. And I thought I might have to since the plant was in a pot this big. Okay, I'm ready to go. Now see, I've already got my pot made up with the screens in, held by the retaining clips. Remember, if you need to figure out how to do the retaining clips and the screens, I've done it several times before on previous episodes. So look to those. All right, got my pot ready, got my tree, and I've got some soil with uh, my scoop, of course, and uh, my bonsai soil. Now remember, this is a 50-50 mixture of Fujiyama bonsai soil and Akadama. That way it's real porous, it'll hold a lot of moisture, and, uh, or enough moisture, and, um, but still have good air pockets and circulation through there. So, here I go want to get a good placement. Remember, not in the center. 
just off to the edge somewhere. I think that'll work. So I'll go with that. Get some soil up under those roots. Make sure I don't hit the roots too hard and break them. But yet, yeah, still want to pack the so the soil in around them. Now some good old pressure. So that's it. What I'm going to do now is put this out into the garage until the onset of spring. The reason why is because it's more sheltered there and more protected. Um, I don't want the roots to freeze in any way and I don't see that I need to put this back under the ground. Also, this you would do the same thing if I actually did prune the roots. I would want to put it in the garage to kind of shelter it until the onset of spring. I won't uh, put any decorative you know, rocks on it right now because I want to watch this, the water levels in the soil. I don't need a humidity tray right now because there's no foliage on the plant. So basically I'll just water it and put it in the garage. Hey thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.